Mr. Bass here with a pretty cool product by Flambeau. It's called the Flambeau Blade Crate. And it's really a spinnerbait box, but you could also put other bladed baits in it like uh, chatter baits they claim could go in this. And there may be some other applications as well, but for all intents and purposes, I look at this as a spinnerbait box, the blade crate, and I thought I would show this to you. But let's quickly compare it to the old traditional Plano spinnerbait box. These things are really pretty easy to use. They're very simple and they're cheap. This thing's five bucks. So it's kind of hard to find something simpler or cheaper, but it may very well be better. So first and foremost, how much does the blade crate cost? 20 bucks. I picked this up for $19.99 at my local tackle store. And it's got some pretty unique, interesting features. The first is, as is the case with almost all Flambeau products nowadays, it is infused with Z-Rust. And of course, Z-Rust is their chemical to prevent rust and corrosion within the box. But this box is infused with Z-Rust Max. What's Z-Rust Max? It's just more of that Z-Rust to last even longer. They guarantee that it will last for at least five years. Guaranteed anti-corrosion rust protection for a minimum of five years. Another feature, it's waterproof. It has a lid on three sides, hinges all the way down the back, and a rubber gasket in the lid to make it a watertight, waterproof compartment. And they even put waterproof right on the label so you know it's a waterproof box. Now what makes the blade crate different is this. When you first open this up, you're like, Jeez Louise, how do I even get how do I even get stuff in there? Where's the room for the baits? Well, there are three compartments here on rails. Three compartments. One, two, three. And on these rails hang these envelopes, if you will. They call them folders. And they are removable. And they hang in the box on those rails and they have two clips you can see it there's a clip on this side and a clip on this side to hang your spinner baits on so in theory you can put two spinner baits or two chatter baits in one envelope or in one folder and there's drain holes in the bottom of the folder there are seven folders in each compartment which means there are 21 folders which gives you capacity for 42 spinner baits. Not too shabby. Here's one of the folders with a spinner bait, a couple of spinner baits installed. And these are pretty big um, War Eagle spinner baits. You can see that's how it hangs in there. And they. They go on very easy. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty nice design. And then they drop in. When you first get in here, you're like, how do these things get out? What you do is you just kind of put them in diagonally. And then they drop in. And as that one popped out a little, you may have to adjust it. But they fit in there really quite well. Uh, another thing, a feature that they have is, let's say... You're a guy that says, well, I like a spinnerbait box, but I don't have 42 spinnerbaits, but I would like some room to put my uh, trailers, uh, my trailer hooks and my soft plastic spinnerbait trailers and uh, some spare line and whatever. You can remove an entire section out of the box like so. So I just took the section out along with those seven folders. And now you have an empty compartment here that you could put 
your Zoom twin tail trailers or whatever your favorite spinnerbait trailer might be. You could put your hooks, your trailer hooks. You could put dies in there. You could put extra line. So it's flexible in that you do not have to keep them all full. And th taking that one section out does not affect the other two sections at all. I really think it's a pretty clever design. It's a super strong, heavy, thick, plastic, durable box. Way more durable and strong than this box. Um, I really like that it's waterproof. There's really a lot to like about this thing. What do you think? Have you tried it? Do you think you will try it? For 20 bucks, it might just be worth it. I love tackle storage. I love new and innovative ways to store tackle. I really think that the Flambo blade crate is pretty cool. It's unique, it's interesting, and I think it's gonna work. And I think it's gonna work well. I hope this was helpful and informative. If so, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, hit the notification bell if you'd like to know when I'm posting my next video. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!